Happy Easter! These are the eggs that Kayla and I have been more, uh, making. Hey, those are hers. These are mine. Mine? Well, I would say... I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I have this one yellow egg here. It's my first ever egg that I made. My dad uh, gave me this um, idea of putting crayon on it. So then the water of the coloring is right there. And then I added this smiley face right there just to make it smiley. And then my second one, you're wondering what this is. Or I would say I have bad drawing. It's a bunny. <laughs> and then this is the carrot for the bunny. It's my second egg. I dipped it in the pink one. This is my third one. I had different designs on it and put in the pink one again. This one says Happy Easter and it has two bunny stickers on the side that it gives us right here. Then I had these little tornadoes. I just thought it would be creative. And that was my fifth one. Well, fourth one. This one is my fifth one. I tried putting this on, it didn't work out very well, but it still looks good. It says Happy Easter and it has that bunny on it with white polka dots. Then you can see I dipped it in the blue water. That was my fifth one. This one is my sixth one. It's very nice because I liked it that I put the green on top, but when I waited for the green to dry, I put a little bit of the orange water on it. Then I put this design in the middle after I put dipped it inside the blue. That's my sixth one. My seventh one is right here. I dipped it in all different colors and it has a lot of cracks as you can see. But then I got one of the arrows from the sticker chart and it says egg hunt and it arrows to that way. So I would have to follow you. That was my seventh one. My eighth one, hmm, it's actually pretty interesting. I got a bunch of this paper towels um, and I did it in all different colors. I, I dipped it in all different colors. I'm good. Then I put it around it and waited. After I waited, I revealed it. Then you can see, you know the paper towels always have those little ruffles on it? Well, it left its mark. And it's good to have coloring. But even though I didn't use this, you can always use this and dip it in. Then, my last ever egg, the ninth egg, it has all different colors of crayons that we have in this area. Then, I dipped it in green because I couldn't really see the green when I drew on it. So I dipped it in the green one. That's my ninth one. All my Easter's, all my Easter eggs, and now, Kayla. Hello. Happy Easter to all of you family members. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is Miss Queen of Eggland. Okay. So she, well, this one was supposed to have this, but um, I wanted to make a crown for Miss Queen of Eggland, but um, didn't work out that way. I only have eight because one of them cracked when we were boiling them, but um, now they're hard as rock. Okay, so this is an Easter bunny under a tree. Yay! Is it hiding under? <laughs> um, is it hiding all the eggs under the tree? Yeah. <laughs> um, I like sol um solid colors, so a lot of these aren't very festive. But this one's half and half. And. This one's pink. I like solid colors. Um, this one was um, just um, pathways, like um, Alice in the Wonderland's rabbit. Um, 
and this one represents Easter and it's half and half vertically. And this one's a bunny. And last but not least, the yellow butterfly because I like solid colors. Happy Easter! Happy Easter to all! And